Today I'm going to show you a luxury fifth wheel camper, the DRV44 Columbus. I'll give you a full tour of all the bells and whistles and I'll share a few areas of concern. Welcome to my channel. I'm Liz Amazing and these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And you sure will live amazing in this luxury fifth wheel camper I'm going to show you. It has a list price of over $200,000. But first I want to give a shout out of thanks to the A-Team. Thank you so much for your emails and comments of support about my broken hand. I only have four more weeks left to go in the splint and I can't wait. And if you want to join the A-Team, just push on the subscribe button. Well, I have been camping since the 90s, and in fact, I have been full-time for over a year. Before I went full-time, I was a realtor, and I am a professional photographer. I love touring campers and seeing what's out there and sharing with you the pros and cons. Now, with this DRV 44 Columbus, there are some serious cons to it, but it is a lovely camper. So let me give you a full tour of it, and at the end, I'll share with you my concerns. Let's get started. At 44 feet long with six slides, this luxury well-built fifth wheel weighs 21,710 pounds with a GVWR of 24,000 pounds. It has a 50 gallon black, 75 gallon gray, and 100 gallon fresh tanks. And there's a 12 gallon hot water tank. It has full body paint. This unit has the optional frameless thermopane windows and a keyless entry door. The reason why this fifth wheel is so expensive is because of the construction. It has some of the highest quality construction in the industry. The gel coated fiberglass walls are three and a quarter inches thick. They're rated at a phenomenal R16. The seven layer floor construction is rated at R29. It's three inches thick over 14 inch aluminum floor joists. This unit comes with a 1000 watt inverter with two six volt batteries and is prepped for satellite, solar, and a generator. The fiberglass roof is an upgrade and features seven layer construction, giving it an R25 rating. There are two 15,000 BTU low profile air conditioners. The DRV 44 Columbus has crown molding throughout. It has solid hardwood cabinetries, hidden hinges, and soft closed drawers. There's also LED lighting on dimmer switches. What a gorgeous kitchen. It has mocha cherry wood cabinets. Lovely island with accent lights. Double sink, stainless steel. Residential faucets and a dishwasher. Oh my goodness, look at that. Huge storage under the sink. And check out the pantry. Oh my goodness, there is so much storage. Huge residential fridge. Oh my goodness. Look at all the storage space. And full-size freezer with an ice maker. This has a wider than normal oven and the cooktop. Oh, I love how easily this goes up and down. It's so great. And 
nice, nice gas stove. And then we have a convection microwave. Can't even figure out how to open it. It's right here, yeah. Look how big that is. That's huge. Check out the details. Look at the accent on the backsplash. Subway tile and this large piece of glass tile. table pulls out to allow more seating and there is more storage to the next of the table. There's cabinets and drawers under here too. Looks like we have day night shades and the rear living has two opposing slides making it nice and big. There is a sleeper couch, two recliners and gorgeous TV with fireplace all kinds of storage and I should mention that both slides have wraparound windows, windows on all three sides. The bathroom has nice solid surface sink and there's counter space, lots of storage, a big medicine cabinet, and there's even more storage right here. So this is part of the bedroom slide and it is your laundry room. This is prepped for a washer and dryer and there is still gonna be storage even if you have that. There is a little bit of storage up here where you could use the whole thing for storage. It's pretty big. So we have a king size bed, nice lighting, and lots of storage. Note that there are wood balances throughout the rig that is an option and they are really pretty. There's most likely storage under this king if I can lift it. Well, there's actually three TVs in this rig and here is the third one. Nice storage on both sides. Cedar lined drawers. There's six cedar lined drawers. These are your closet doors to your cedar lined closet. Cedar lined closet, lots of, lots of uh, place to hang your clothes. These are your extra dining chairs for when you pull the addition out. You have cedar lined drawers plus a safe. How awesome is that? There's even a shoe shelf here and here. Here's what it looks like all closed up with the four slides in the living area closed up. That's two slides in the kitchen, two slides in the living room. You cannot get to the freezer. There's just no way you're gonna be able to get to the freezer, but you can definitely get to the fridge. and no access to the bedroom when the slide is closed. There is an outdoor TV and entertainment center and look at how thick those doors are. The reason why you go up the steps for the rear living is because there are three pass-throughs. This really gives you an incredible amount of outdoor storage. Plus there are also some pocket storage doors where you can put little things. Here is the main pass-through. This is quite large. And the front storage of this unit is generator ready. And you may not know this, but 50 amp power cords are heavy. You will appreciate this power reel so much. It has Goodyear H rated tires and one touch auto leveling. While the DRV 44 Columbus is of unquestionable high quality and well built, I do have a few areas of concern. Number one, there are six slides, but of the six, only two are hydraulic. The other four are of the lesser quality cable construction. 
And I have to say, I was pretty surprised to see vents in the floor. I thought that was a thing of the past. My 2020 Grand Design fifth wheel does not have floor vents and it costs just a fraction of the list price of the DRV44. And my other concern is with the floor plan. The reason why you have that raised living room in the rear is so that you can have all that outside storage. But to me, it seems like it's a destination camper, so you would not need all the outside storage. But if you're traveling a lot, you would probably want to have a rear window so you can enjoy the views. If you liked this video, you'll love the next one. It's a tour of the Newmar Dutch Star 3709. I'll see you in the next video.